He is a man of contradictions, innocent yet sophisticated, suave yet cuddly, a beloved children's toy who enjoys an occasional martini. He's been spotted hobnobbing with international celebrities, written about in leading newspapers, and even played a critical role in shaping the cover of a seminal hip hop record. He is, of course, the polo bear. And this is his story. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dion. Today we are going to be doing a style spotlight on an American fashion icon. Not Ralph Lauren, the Ralph Lauren polo bear. I was not feeling inspired at all this week and was racking my brain as to what to film. And I was like, I love Ralph Lauren. I, you know, maybe I'll do a little style spotlight on Ralph Lauren. And I saw this tweet that was like, polo bear, stop, your swag too different, your drip too good. They're gonna get you polo bear. And it cracked me up and made me laugh. And then yesterday, again, feeling so uninspired, I saw someone wearing a polo bear hat and I was like, you know what, polo bear. Not Ralph Lauren, but specifically the little teddy bear that he dresses up. We're gonna be talking about that aesthetic. I've also been seeing these TikToks of like dressing like the Ralph Lauren polo bear. So having the sweater and then dressing like the bear, how the bear is dressed in the sweater. So it's like an infinite thing. I love the lore. I think it's very funny and it's a fun little like fashion prompt to do to like try and mimic this teddy bear. So if you like fashion videos and fashion commentary in general, then definitely make sure to subscribe to this channel because I post videos every Thursday. And with that, let's get into it. So first let's talk about Ralph Lauren, the inventor of this polo bear. Ralph Lifshitz, AKA Ralph Lauren, was born in 1939 in the Bronx to Ashkenazi parents. At age 16, he legally changed his second name from Lifshitz to Lauren, along with his brother George, due to bullying at school. His choice of name followed his older brother, Jerry Lauren, who had first done so after experiencing bullying in the Air Force. From 1962 to 1964, Lauren served in the US Army. After discharge, he worked briefly for Brooks Brothers as a sales assistant before becoming a salesman for Rivets, a necktie company. At age 28, working for Thai manufacturer Bo Brummel, Loren convinced the company president to let him start his own line. He launched the Ralph Lauren Corporation in 1967 with men's ties. Drawing on his interest in sports, Loren named his first full line of menswear Polo in 1968. In 1971, Ralph Lauren Corporation launched the line of tailored shirts for women, which introduced the Polo player emblem to the world for the first time appearing on the shirt's cuff. In 1972, the Ralph Lauren Corporation introduced a signature cotton mesh polo shirt in various colors. Featuring the polo lo logo on the chest, the shirt became emblematic of the preppy look, one of Ralph Lauren's signature styles. Since then, the Ralph Lauren Corporation has created many brands, including ones that are still around, such as Chaps, Double RL, Lauren by Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren Fragrances, Polo Ralph Lauren, Pink Polo, Polo Sport, RL Home and Paint, and some that are defunct, such as Polo Western Wear, Polo Jeans, Polo Country, and Rugby Ralph Lauren. So now we're gonna talk about how we got into teddy bears. What, what's the, the lure behind the polo bear? So fun fact, I didn't know this until today. The teddy bear came from President Teddy Roosevelt, who in 1902 went to Mississippi for a bear hunt. After being unsuccessful, his staffers were like, do you want us to tie a bear to a tree and then you shoot it? And he was like, no, that's unsportsmanlike. So because of his mercy towards the bear, there was a political cartoon showing that Teddy Roosevelt spared the bear. As a result, toy companies started to create stuffed bears named Teddy Bears, with the German toy maker Richard Steiff being the premier name in Teddy Bears. I had no idea that that's why they were called teddy bears. Ralph Lauren's brother, Jerry, is a huge teddy bear fan. And one year, his colleagues dressed up a Steiff bear in Jerry's likeness. Upon seeing the two bears, as Jerry recalls, Ralph remarked, you know what? I'm a preppy too. A tradition was born and every year, both Ralph and Jerry are given Steiff bears. The bears, inspired by Ralph's personal style, wear clothes often made in the same factories as actual Ralph Lauren clothing. They're always his favorite gift, Jerry says. The first actual teddy bear, called Preppy Bear, was massively popular from the start. The teddy bears, in a limited run of 200, sold out of the Madison Avenue flagship in one weekend. The second iteration of the bear was an icon that eventually appeared on everything from t-shirts to denim jackets to dress shirts and ties. 
The bear was quickly picked up by the Low Life crew, a Brooklyn-based crew renowned for stealing Polo Ralph Lauren merchandise. They desired Polo Ralph Lauren for its luxury branded clothing. It portrayed the lavish lifestyle that they aspired to. They would hit stores such as Barney's, Bloomingdale's, and Saks Fifth Avenue, taking as much as they could back to Harlem. The crew's mandatory uniform was head-to-toe Polo Ralph Lauren, gaining them the title the Polo Boys and the Polo Crew. There were over 100 members in the crew, which was socializing amongst the elite 90s rappers. This led to the brand's popularity and ultimately shaped the hip-hop fashion landscape. It gained further popularity by appearing in music videos and album covers of popular hip-hop groups such as the Wu-Tang Clan. In 2013, the Polo Bear was reborn, with building interest in archived collections. The Polo Bear sweater returned as part of its vintage Bring It Back campaign. Ralph Lauren CEO, Patrice Louvet continues to push the focus back to its classic core pieces. But there is more to the polo bear that meets the eye. Legend has it that there is a mythical sweater of the polo bear wearing a sweater that has a polo bear on it and it's never ending. Meaning a bear that is itself wearing a polo bear sweater who whose bear is also wearing a polo bear sweater and on and on. That is, if it even exists. Polo devotee and rapper Mayhem Lauren told Vice in 2011 that it's almost mythological. He said, quote, well, supposedly there's a knit out there with the bear rocking a knit of himself on it, and he's rocking a bear and it just goes on and on forever. Guys will swear they have three of those, but they never bring it out, never rock it for flicks, but it's supposedly there. Brian Porcel, a vintage expert and owner of the East Village shop, says he doesn't think it's physically possible for the never ending bear sweater to have been made. It's too complex to render as a knit and it would be too abstract. So far, Ralph Lauren has yet to find proof of its existence, which doesn't mean it's not out there somewhere. So the legend continues on the infinite polo bear. So now that we learned a little bit about Ralph Lauren, the company, teddy bears, and how the polo bear came to be, we're gonna talk about polo bear's aesthetic, polo bear's swag, how we all should be dressing like polo bear. <laughs> Naturally, the polo bear's aesthetics take inspiration from classic Americana preppy and old money fashion from the 70s and 80s. I find, and what I love about Ralph Lauren compared to, let's say, Burberry, Burberry is that British preppy brand where it's very clean, leans very equestrian, very luxe, very like quiet, luxury, traditional, like old money, where I feel like Ralph Lauren takes it a little bit more casual. It's not as pristine, clean, and luxe. It's a little bit more like laid back, sports, prep school. I can throw the football in my $300 khakis and, and polo shirt. Like it's very like almost purposely beating up your clothes. Like there was a very popular preppy, movement in the 80s where it was about like kind of beating up your Ralph Lauren button downs. Rather than the luxe preppy style of keeping everything perfect, this display of wealth shows a nonchalance about the clothing that they're wearing. Polo Bear does a lot of layers. He's usually seen with a sweater and a collared shirt underneath, sometimes a neckerchief or a tie. He loves to style and customize. So he'll roll up and cuff his sleeves, he'll cuff his pants. He'll make his outfit look lived in rather than put on. Polo Bear loves to accessorize with hats, sunglasses, and tote bags. He's often seen with some sort of satchel or accessory going on. Again, it's classy, but rumpled and laid back. Comfortable yet expensive, countryside rather than like mansion. If you think like preppy, like the countryside, the sports, more useful, more, again, a little bit more casual while still being preppy and expensive. And of course, lots of Americana motifs. Ralph Lauren is an American brand, so there's lots of USA, American flags, just general American motifs. And what I love about this trend and people dressing up like polo bear is obviously people are collecting vintage or new polo bear sweaters and shirts. You can find them at Poshmark, on eBay. You can find them so easily. I used to have a polo bear sweatshirt, but it was a little bit too small for me. So I ended up selling it on Poshmark. Kind of regret that now because I'm so inspired by everyone wearing the polo bear. But rather than just buying a sweater and styling it that way, which obviously is very cute, you don't even have to buy anything to participate in this aesthetic or trend. You could just look up pictures of polo bear and try to steal his swag, try to steal his style. 
I saw a post by Matilda Jerf who said like, oh, Nicole said this was like a polo bear look. She wasn't wearing any Ralph Lauren, but she looked like she was dressed like a polo bear. This is actually a Ralph Lauren collared shirt and a Ralph Lauren chaps sweatshirt. But again, you don't have to have the polo bear to kind of give the look of the neckerchief, the collar shirt, the layering, the sort of like laid back. I always think of Biff from, is it Pretty in Pink? That 80s movie? But I, oh, when I think of like preppy 80s American, I think of that character. But I love this trend of taking this like cartoon character and trying to like, create their style rather than going after like Ralph Lauren or whatever this like mythical bear creature that we're all trying to emulate and again very easy to find polo bear stuff secondhand because it's more vintage and like coveted it is a little bit more expensive it's not like I don't know how much polo bear stuff you'll be able to find at thrift stores but in terms of again eBay, Vestiaire, uh, Poshmark, all of that it should be very very easy and of course Ralph Lauren is still selling them new but I never want to encourage you guys to buy anything new obviously. Yeah overall I mean it is a, a take on preppiness it's just like I didn't want to do just like a preppy aesthetic. I feel like this is a very specific like American Ralph Lauren polo bear aesthetic style. And it was very inspiring to me. So I hope it was inspiring to you as well. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Thursday. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post content there more frequently and leave a comment down below what you think about the polo bear aesthetic do you think polo bear swag is amazing do you think it's a little bit too basic and what else you'd like to see from me on this channel i'm editing this video and i realized i did not tell you guys that i started and launched a patreon there's going to be two extra videos a month over on there I want to eventually expand it and do live streams and book clubs and everything. But if you want to support my channel and you like the fact that I never try to sell you things on this channel and do sponsored ads, then definitely go check out my Patreon. Ignore my dog right now. I just wanted to obviously make money from my content, but I just, it didn't feel right for me to work with different companies to try to sell you guys things because that is so the antithesis of my channel so that would be better that i would just create two bonus videos that aren't going to go on youtube ever and it's going to be more casual vlog style routines i'm training for a half marathon i'm doing everything showers like there's just you know just a little bit more me a little more me so if you guys want to support me in that way i'd really appreciate it obviously it'll be linked down below and yeah two extra videos a month. Patreon.com slash D on the Taurus. See you there. And with that, have a happy, happy day. Bye.